Medicine would be unthinkable today without lasers. Today a laser is used to dissect the prostate, remove varicose veins or even stones from the ureter. We use a laser to selectively detect malignant tissue and selectively to destroy it. This is called photodynamic therapy. There are situations where the cancer cells grow diffusely into normal tissue, and there you can no longer completely remove them by surgery, in the brain for example. The concept of photodynamic therapy is to completely replace surgical procedures in the long run and simply irradiate the affected malignant area with light. When the laser light encounters the sensitized cells, these cells destroy themselves, so to speak, so that there is actually no damage to normal tissue, even if it also gets irradiated. In order to introduce light into the brain tumor, we need to transport enough light through thin fibers, and to do this we use laser light of a red wavelength, which can spread out deep into the tissue. The reason why we are looking at the malignant brain tumor is that this tumor represents a very dramatic event for patients, because the diagnosis comes out of the blue. Survival expectancy is still one and a half years. It's all about making this survival time as symptom-free as possible and protract it as long as possible. Here we see a possibility of actually achieving that with photodynamic therapy. More than 30,000 visitors get to experience the latest photonics products and applications every two years in Munich. From science to product, experience the leading light at the world's leading trade fair, Laser World of Photonics.